everyone, this is Watashi. Um, long time no video. Um, as you notice, I've actually lost some weight. I'm not My tummy's not as prominent as it used to be. I actually kind of just ate, so it's kind of poofy right now. But um, as you notice, it has gone down pretty good. I've done pretty well. I've been doing about 25 to 50 sit-ups as much as I can. Um, just still worrying about the fat in my arms and the fat between my legs. But um, here's the update so far. My starting weight was 230. Uh, my current weight is 210. Uh, my goal weight is 150, so I have about 60 pounds to go. Yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> so these are my calories that I've done. I can only have 1,598 calories a day, but uh, judged by my age, my height, and how much I want to lose. I want to lose about three pounds a week. I'm moderately active. I walk around a lot at work. I do a lot of cleaning and I'm always walking around doing something. These are the areas I want to work on. My tummy, the inner thighs, and that lovely little pounds of fat under my arm. Um, by the way, it's been three days, three days since I've had a soda. I'm going insane. I've been drinking water like crazy, really. Okay, so here's some things I thought I'd bring up for you guys. No more soda. Trust me, I haven't had soda for three days and I've actually drinking water and it feels a lot better. Um, I suggest green tea. Jasmine tea is really, really good. Trust me, I suggest it to anybody. Um, make workout goals. Like for the first week I did 25 sit-ups. For next week I'm going to do about 50 sit-ups a day and the next week after that 75. You want your body to going hard so it gets used to it. Then after the third week just try to stay at 75 and then keep going higher. Um, no more takeout. I don't care what the eat this not that says. Try not to eat takeout. Always think fresh. You got your uh, other greens, which is um, cabbage, uh, iceberg, spinach, blah blah blah. Uh, oranges, bananas, apples, spinach, celery, and onion. Those are really good for you, and they taste a lot better than probably greasy little McDonald's on a grill. Also, a thing I've learned: I recently got a new car. So I realized, you know, you actually use less mileage if you park your car all the way back here. Because you know when you're looking for a spot up here close to the entrance of the store, you're always driving around looking. You use more gas and you use more mileage on your car and that's what you don't want to do. So what I've done is I parked further away. Less mileage and gas. There's more parking. You notice there's nobody in the back. Less stress because you're always pissed off if someone cuts you off in the parking spot and you know that makes you mad. And you get your exercise to and from the store. That's really good for you, you know? Um, for me, I've been doing shopping only once a week. Like a week's worth of food. I plan it out. Um, I always get my fresh fruits and, fruits and veggies. Um, I eat only whole grain wheat, which says 100% whole grain, which is probably the best you can get. No more candy and snacks. I don't care about those 100 calorie packs. Stay away from the sugar. That's what hits you. It's still sugar. Try soy milk. I mean... I try soy milk, you know, I get the little ones because I don't drink that much dairy because I'm lactose and stuff, and you know, so try soy milk, you guys might think it's different. Um, multivitamins, they do have multivitamins for men and women, but you might want to consult your doctor first before you figure it out. Um, take a look at my vitamin video I just put up not too long ago, um, the vitamin A, B12, C, D, and E, you guys will find it pretty interesting. Usually if your doctor says take this, check it to see how much vitamins you get. And if you can, try to get more, like fish oils help your memory, vitamin C for antioxidants, um, E does the same, D because your body doesn't make enough. But that's all I have for my update today. And um, I have a question for my viewers. I'm doing an experiment. I'm trying to see um, food commercials and ads versus our psyche for, you know, our eating habits. Um... Whenever you, like, watch TV or read the newspaper, I want to ask you guys, if you can, for, like, a week or so, tell me what, what you see, you know, category-wise, soft drinks, fast food, candy, you know, health food, like, health ads you see in the store foods like Kraft, macaroni and cheese, uh, rice or or something like that. But if you can, try to put them in categories. I'll, I'll have it on the thing to show you guys. And then right by the category, category then who was it with for, like, soft drinks? You put Coke or Pepsi. How many times you saw it, and you know what type you saw it. Did you see it on TV? Did you see it on a billboard? Did you see it in a newspaper ad or online? But if you guys can message me that stuff, and it will help me a lot to figure out the 
how to help you guys um, beat your psyche over the food commercials you see. Um, if you met, if you message it to me, I'll mention you guys. So yeah, keep watching. I hope that I get some messages from you guys saying okay. Thanks.